Hello all together. I just want to show you Windows 8 customer preview running on my Xen client. First of all, let's have a look how it's running and what it does look like. Just now in the moment one other virtual machine is running. It's my Windows 7 machine and the Windows XP machine is asleep. So the performance you will see is rather good. I have configured one vCPU and 2 GB of memory. The installation altogether has about, I think, 12 gigabytes. It took some time to install. After the installation came up, you will have to install the, the Xen client tools. It does work very well. You cannot activate the subscribe or publish application, but doesn't mind. The installation itself takes very long because as soon as uh, Windows detects that you want to install .NET, it comes up with its own download and wants to download his own properties. So, and as you can see, uh, Windows 8 is already booted. It took only about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Yeah, I did not came up from hibernation mode. Normally, if you select shut down, it does not shut down the machine actually. It always sends it to hibernate. This is also a problem if you want to synchronize this machine with your synchronizer, so make a backup. To do this, you will have to shut down the machine manually by uh, running a command. The shutdown sft1 it's just shut down the machine force shutdown time one second so it's a windows command nothing special and as soon as you're in windows 8 as you can see the performance is really really good this is because i have activated this 3d graphic support and as you can see here in the top the switcher bar is uh, activated i can switch between my three running virtual machines and also the screen resolution uh, is choosable. So I can say here for example uh, that I only want uh, 1024 times uh, 768 or I want the full resolution of my desktop. And I, also, I can also switch screens if I connect a second screen. Um, so now let's shut down this machine and I'll tell you what you have to do to get this far. First of all I have to say log off. This is a German operating system by the way because I'm German, uh, Austrian to be exactly, and now let's shut it down. So I choose here shut down, and you will see it sends it to hibernate instead of shutting down the machine. Yeah, first of all, before you can get this far, uh, when you install Xen Client on your machine, you will get a question. It asks you, do you wish to enable external SSH access? And this is very important. If you do not select yes, you cannot copy any files to your Xen client. And this is very essential because you need to copy the ISO file or you just have to burn a CD and uh, insert it in your CD-ROM. But I prefer to burn it and uh, to, to, to copy it instead of burning because you are able to copy ISO files to your machine. So, uh, Windows 8 is now hibernated, you can read it here, hibernate, and if I select details, I can just show you what I've done. Uh, I've done this, I just copied all my files I need, here is the Windows 8 consumer preview, which I just copied on the machine, and I selected from here and started the installation. First of all, you need to create a new machine by selecting the add virtual machine button and then you have to select uh, that you want to create it on your own. I have already nine virtual machines which does not allow me to do this. Um, if you get to the screen and he asks you what you want to do is select the Ubuntu type of machine because it sets a special uh, template of virtual machine and the parameter in the background. You can also do it by your own but it's, it's a really hard thing to, to configure if you don't know where to go and what to do and if you mistype it you will end up in a gray screen so just select this template and for the installation of the machine choose one vCPU not more it will bring you problems maybe if you select two afterwards you can configure two vCPUs also not more and uh, also more uh, memory I selected two gigabytes works very well some people reported me in my channel that they have problems uh, with the first startup. So uh, 
with this machine I did not have any problems she detected everything very well you can also here enable OEM Windows installation and expose physical information that Windows detects the real hardware so sometimes you just have to select some of these points allow OEM installation I don't think that it would be necessary uh, exposed physical hardware information maybe could help so for example uh, the the Linux machine the Chrome Hex uh, had problems uh, yeah depends on the system depends on the beta you got so just give it a try after the installation is done shut down the machine select details go to hardware and insert the Xen tools the Xen tools will install all the drivers you need then shut down the machine again switch here to to hardware again and select graphics and enable it if you are in hibernated mode you cannot enable or disable it so you will have to shut down as I said before by command line by the shutdown SFT1 um, this 3D graphics mode is better together with the Windows 8 machine then uh, it works normally so if you do not enable 3D graphics you will have problems like crashing machine or if you switch between virtual machines that it freezes and it's very very different to other virtual machines so Windows 8 is a new operating system maybe this is the reason for this I always enable with Windows 8 the 3D graphics first of all because of the graphic performance in the machine and also because it's stable if you use it yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask right in my channel or send me a private message and I will try to answer and help you. So, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.